Hey guys, it's me Fresh here, and in today's video we are in a brand new game called My Store. So I believe this game just came out a few hours ago, and it is similar to My Restaurant and also My Arcade. But anyways, if you are new to the channel and you want to see more of my store, let me know and also subscribe if you're new. But like I said in the intro, this is just like my arcade and my restaurant. Because just like my restaurant and my arcade, you start out with a store. And this is a clothing store and all the other stores combined. But basically how you play is you simply have some cashiers or registers and you simply just click E. And you gotta wait till you get cash or money from Superman or Spider-Man. And you have a bunch of customers like Russell Plays and also some other dude, I don't know who it is. And also some noob. This game is pretty fun. As you guys can see, I've played for a little bit. I right now have $26,000. Or I don't know what currency it is in this game. Just like every other my store or my arcade or my restaurant game you have also a big mall and let's go to there because i actually want to show you guys how it looks like so in this mall you have a staff upgrade and also a normal upgrade and i don't know what the normal upgrade is again but you can also upgrade your staff which is pretty nice because i haven't seen any my store or whatsoever game it is called I haven't seen anyone do this, so this be interesting. So you can simply just upgrade your cashiers or your staff. And you also have Russell Place as your clerk. I don't know what it is again. And you can basically upgrade it to have faster hands or restock speed. Or you can have something else, I believe. I believe you can have faster cleaning. But you also have decorations for your floor. As you guys can see, you also have some carpets and some dark wood floor and a black carpet and a red carpet. So basically you can have different floor colors. So that's also pretty cool. But you also have these different type of counters. So you have a chief counter for $100 and you go up to this one, the royal counter. And it costs $2,500 and it is the same for the counters, I believe. Anyways, you have way more here and you also have some cash registers that you can upgrade. And this one is the expensive one. So it is a replicator and it says the newest piece of technology which create your best product out of nothing. So let me explain what it does. So if you go to your products, you have a bunch of products you have right now. So right now I have a level 7 flower dress. So if I get a canned fruit and the replicator gets it, it automatically goes to the flower dress. So it gets me the most expensive one that I have right now. So basically you earn a lot of money out of this one. So this item should be pretty overpowered, but it is also a lot of money you gotta spend on it. So it is 50 million dollars, so I right now only have 35,000. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get this in this video. But you also have some different type of counters or shelves, and these shelves are pretty important as well. So the cheapest one is a basic shelf for basic food. And what that means is if you go to your products, it basically only does this one, I believe, the canned fruit, the milk and the soap, I believe. So for example, it doesn't have a flower dress on that shelf. So of course you gotta upgrade to even bigger ones. So this cheap fridge is $500 and it has a cheap shelf for frozen food. So if you go to your products again, it only has the milk, the soap and other type of frozen food. So you guys know what I mean by that and also the cheapest or the expensive one is the cheap computer rack. And a cheap computer rack full of expensive computers. And I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get this one in this episode. But if you guys want to see more, definitely let me know. But you also have a decoration side. So you have a vending machine for $5,000. And also a boombox for $100,000. And I don't know if it is a cosmetic or it does something. But we will find out later somewhere. And also a flower for $75. And a cactus for $250 and a mini tree for 125 dollars and you also have some lights right here so the most expensive one right now is the luxury ceiling light and it is 1000 dollars and the most cheapest one is 50 dollars the cheap ceiling light but the light isn't really that important in this game because everything is pretty bright already 
And they also have dispensers in this game and as you guys can see it is just like my arcade and the cheapest one right now is $50 and I already have 3 customers out of it and the most expensive one is 125000 But they also have a VIP section as you guys can see there are special offers and this one is the daily VIP deals and there is a sturdy checkout for 36000 but I don't have the VIP section because I don't have the VIP VIP game pass because I don't want to spend any money on games because it is not needed but I also forgot to show you guys that they have buildings as well so the cheapest one right now is the cheap and it is $50,000 and it earns 5% more cash and 2 times XP and there are 3 more buildings which one of them is a game pass building and a game pass building is 50% more cash and 3 times XP and the most expensive one is this one and it is a futuristic and it earns 20% more cash and 3 times XP so that's pretty nice but as you see on the price tag it is 35 million dollars so i'm nowhere near that and there's another vip section and this one is a super replicator and it has a capacity of three the new piece of technology which creates your best four products out of nothing so it's pretty much the same as this one but it is pay to win or not pay to win I mean it is more convenient if you have the VIP game pass. But as of right now I have almost $50,000 and I can pretty much buy this one but then I have no money left. And since the cheap self checkout is 30000 so I'm gonna buy this one right now. And also I forgot to mention that the registers are pretty important in this game and I'm gonna explain that in the future or at least i'm gonna explain that later but anyways i right now have 18,000 left so i'm gonna buy one of these and then i have 3,000 left so anyways let's go to our plot again and as you guys can see this is my layout right now and that is pretty much all cash registers because the more cash registers you have the more customers that are coming i believe because if i only have two registers there are only two customers at a time or coming at a time and right now i have about 20 i believe so that's 20 customers coming into the store continuously but you guys are also probably wondering why i have my layout like this so you guys know that they are coming from the door so i have my racks right here so if they come out of the door they are instantly gonna buy something so that means i'm not wasting any time or at least i'm wasting less time than it usually is because once you start out the cash registers are right here and the restock caps or the shelves are right here so it takes a long time for the customers to come here and eventually go out of the store and right now i'm saving a lot of time i believe but anyways that was pretty much the video because i just wanted to make a intro on this game so if you guys want to play this game as well i will leave a link down below so if you guys want to play it you can but anyways that was the video for today so if you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you are new and i'll see you guys in the next video